Hey dads, are you looking for a fun, kind of a creative or different game to play with your kids? We've got this one right here that we've had for a while and it says ages five to adult and I think we've been playing this with our kids for longer than that. So I wanna to talk to you guys about that today. Also it won a bunch of awards as well back in the day. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that I like, use and have. So if you're into that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button. Also that thumbs up button is appreciated too. So the game that I have for you guys today, it's called Blockus. Have any of you guys ever heard of Blockus? Just put a yes or no down in the comments below. I'd be curious to know if y'all have heard of this game. Krista and I picked this up. Uh, Krista's my wife, by the way. Picked this up um, a few years ago because we like to play it just as, a, as adults. And it's a strategy game. You can play it for uh, two to four players is, is how you play this because everybody... Ooh, this is upside down. Let me flip this this way. There we go. Uh, you get... Uh, there's four different colors in the game. And the way it works is you have your board here. This is your board. And it's basically just a grid. It's, it's uh, raised. And you have uh, kind of a mess. Here, look, I'll take y'all down. Look, check this out. This is all the pieces that go with it. So uh, there's a bunch of each different color. And they're all different shapes of pieces. They remind me of like Tetris. Tetris pieces, if y'all remember Tetris growing up. If you guys want to check this game out, I'll link it up down in the description below. But it's got um, all the same kind of pieces, just with different colors. So the object of the game... Let me see, let me put you guys back down. The object of the game is to uh, try and get use up all of your pieces on the board. And what you do is you take turns uh, placing a piece on the board. Now it's going to get tricky because two pieces have to touch at the corners. Two of the same color pieces. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to block in the other players. Uh, trying to close them in so that they can't make their corners connect. So just to give you guys an example, I'll try and hold this up and do this. Red's going to go right here. Yellow's going to go right here. Now, for red to go again, red has to make these two corners right here. See how they're touching? They're, uh, they're diagonal to each other. And then yellow can do something like this, and it's going to start trying to block in red. Usually, you start at the, everybody would start at a corner. I just wanted to show a demonstration here for you of uh, how the game is played. So the object is to use up all your pieces, um, or be the first person to use up all their pieces. Uh, there will come a time where if you're playing, especially with more than one person, that if um, there's, there's no more spaces to go and they have pieces left over, that means that they are out of the game. It, usually if you're playing with four players. One thing I do like about just how they packaged this game is each uh, color tray is in a little triangle. So you can just simply grab the color that you want. You have the whole tray and you can bring that next to you so you can just play directly from here. I thought that that was a nice uh, organization thing for this game and it's nice just to be able to to grab one thing and go and kind of everyone in the family's responsible for taking care of their pieces, make sure all their pieces get back into the correct tray and then get back into the box. So um, I really, really like that about this game. Not only the packaging is functional uh, as far as being in the box, but it's also functional during the actual gameplay. So I like that. Um, the board's just a simple uh, plastic board. It's not nothing fancy or anything. You put your hands all the way around it. Um, and it's got the grid. I've never had any sort of issues with the, the board breaking, getting scratched up, anything like that. So it's held its, its time. Now I did mention at the beginning of this video that this uh, game has won some awards. Let's see, to be able to look at that, I'm gonna have to take all of this out. Let me uh, take these out of here like this. And on the front here, they have uh, some of the awards that they've won. This is the Mensa Select uh, National Competition winner, uh, honored for excellence by what is it? By Mensa. Okay, uh, 2003, the Good Toy Award by Astra. They, uh, this is the most celebrated game of the century. I don't know what what this is all about. Uh, it doesn't have like any sort of affiliation with it or anything. Then there's the Teacher's Choice from the Learning Magazine, Learning Magazine Teacher's Choice Award, and then the 2005 TOTY nominee. 
that's toy of the year right there. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome there. They got some good awards there. Educational Insights is the company that makes this game. I like games that have educational purpose to it. Um, they do recommend this is not used for three and under due to the small pieces. Although I gotta say, whenever, uh, Whenever our kids were young, we would just take this game out and we'd kind of just let them get creative with it. Like, let them make their own patterns on the grid. We wouldn't really play the game. We'd just be like, okay, let's make some fun shapes or, you know, let's make some fun designs with, uh, with the little uh, pieces here. And they had a good time doing that. Uh, just be able to get in there and kind of place their pieces how they want to uh, on the game board. So I can definitely recommend this game from a dad's perspective. Look, this is, uh, whoa. This is uh, some of the, let's see, you st everybody starts in a corner and then you kind of see how they all start to come together. And then in this picture, they show you that blue wins because all the blue pieces are touching and everybody else has pieces left out on the side there. So super cool game. I really like this. Uh, I think you guys might like it being dads or moms out there. And uh, if y'all like to play games with your kids, I think that this is a great one. It's educational. It's fun for the whole family, at least a family of four. Uh, you can definitely play on teams if you want to. Uh, you know, trying to decide which block to put where. So link up down in the description below if you guys care to check this out. I'll put that link down there and y'all can go and read some of the other reviews that other people have left on this game. Um, all in all, I really like it from this dad's point of view. If you guys want to watch more videos from Dad Reviews, I'm going to put some more right there on the screen. I'd love it if y'all watch some more of our videos. If you're liking what we're doing here on the Dad Reviews, make sure to click that subscribe button right there in the middle. That way you get notified of our upcoming videos, our future videos. If there's a product that you want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get it for you guys. Thank y'all for watching and Dad out!